Hello, this is ASMR Ugly. In today's video, we're going to be playing some Clash of Clans today. Do you think you want to play with me? We're also going to be doing some tapping. Do you like that? 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 Alright. <laughs> Alright, just joking. What's up, Clash Bros? It's Marcus for Epic Life Gaming. Welcome back to today's video. As you guys can see, we are now over 3,000 trophies on my level 9 account. I am so hyped for that. I finally got there. I had to do it off camera. Just couldn't do it while on camera. Just wasn't good enough. Um, the deck we did it with was this deck right here, I think. I believe it was that deck right there. Just a super simple, cheap deck. 3.1 average elixir. Not bad at all. Um, and we got to, uh, yeah, over 3,000 trophies. Let's go ahead and open up these free chests right now. Get these guys open. There we go. And we got a little uh, gold chest open as well. So... Well, I'm gonna just uh, show you guys. We'll see if oh, we got a legendary, but I think I already have the princess. Yep, I already have the princess. I actually already bought my other uh, legendary, my first legendary I bought, which was a bandit. So that's super cool. So now that we're in legendary, I can buy legendary cards in the shop, which is awesome. So we're definitely going to be buying a lot more legendaries now. Getting some more cards on this account, which will be awesome for you guys and me as well. All right, so this is the deck that we have. Um, you guys have probably seen it before. It's just a cheap Hog Rider deck. It's got the Goblin Barrel, which um, I, I'm actually decent with. I don't think I'm bad with it. We have the Goblin Gang. We have the Knight. And then we have the Ice Golem with the Inferno Tower because these cards are not strong enough to take down a Golem, a Giant, um, Pekka, anything like that, anything that's really heavy. These little cards can't take them on so the I uh, the inferno there is just a little extra handicap just in case we need it we also have the zap and the arrows in it as well I would really like log in this deck but we don't have the log as you can see it's still unlocked oh or locked I don't know I, I need to unlock it so all right you guys so let's go ahead we're just gonna get straight into battle I have not played on this account for a couple days. I've kind of just taken a break, kind of get everything back into focus. Um, everything's been kind of crazy. I've been sick. Uh, my family's been sick. So, yeah, so a lot of things have been going on. So I apologize for the very lack of videos that I have been doing lately. Um, pretty much non-existent right now. And it's just for the fact that I'm trying to find my love for everything again. Oh, no. We are in some gigantic trouble right now. Um, let's just go ahead, throw down arrows, and then we're just going to go ahead, throw down zap, and then we're going to throw down knight. All right, we just got pwned right there with the, uh, yeah, the, uh, elite barbarians. So we don't lose a tower, but pretty darn close to losing the tower right there. I'm going to turn the in-game volume up for my headphones just a tiny bit. Um, all right, this guy is like super salty right now. I don't know why he's acting like that, but... Let's go ahead and clean this up, and then what we're going to do is drop down a hog rider. He's going to drop down a wall breaker, which we have nothing to really clean it up with. Darn. All right. So he's able to stop us again. I need to switch sides. That was dumb of me to go that side. All right. So we definitely lost that tower. There's no way we're going to stop him. We'll just go ahead, throw down the arrows to stop his bomber. Elite barbarians are just ruthless right now. Um, yeah, he started off hot. Um... There's not much we could have done about it. So we got to switch sides. So let's just go ahead, throw the goblin barrel, see what he does with that. He's going to zap it, and it actually takes it out. Um, ooh, all right. So we still got a minute left. It's not over. We can easily come back from this. So let's see. All right, let's go ahead and drop the hog rider, and we'll drop the ice golem. He drops down bomber. Let's go ahead, zap, boom, get rid of that. Get two hits off on the tower. All right, not not the worst thing in the world. He has wizard. This guy's a really strong deck. I'm not a fan of this guy's deck. This guy's deck is tough. All right, kind of wish we would have got the. Uh... Oh. All right. Let's just go ahead and throw down arrows. Boom. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna be losing this game with a three crown fashion. Good job, Vespe Goo. All right, good luck. Thanks. Ah, this guy was throwing emotes down the entire time. It's like, is that your first win that you've gotten all day? I apologize. Like, I don't know why people do that. Act like you've been there before. When you see, I can't, I was going to say Antonio Brown score a touchdown. 
That guy looks like he's never scored a touchdown in his career with all those, you know, hip thrusts and pelvic thrusts and all that stuff. But when you see like a guy like Calvin Johnson score a touchdown or a good one is, uh, oh, who's a good one? Larry Fitzgerald. Those guys act like they've been there before. They're studs. They know what they're doing. And it's you know, just act like you've been there before. So I'll, people act like that. That's okay. You're not going to upset me. You're not going to tilt me. Um, it's just surprising that people act like that. But I shouldn't be surprised, right? But I'm sure it probably tilts a lot of people, though. Um, people probably get really upset. Let's just go ahead and throw the Hog Rider down. The Inferno Tower goes down right now. You know what? I'm actually going to pull all this a little bit closer towards me. All right, and the reason I'm not going to play my arrows right there, just in case he has something that uh, I need to play something else for arrows, because if he has minion horde and I don't have arrows ready to go, I'm in trouble. Let's go ahead and throw down the goblin barrel because we have the extra elixir. He has a royal giant coming down on my right-hand lane. He's going to go ahead and zap that. Let's go ahead and drop down the inferno tower. Perfect timing as he crosses the bridge. What does he, what does he have? We're doing a really good job right now. The only thing that's doing damage to our tower right now is those uh, fire spirits. So I'll take it. Let's go ahead. We're going to switch sides. Um, I'm not committed to that side. So, ooh, ooh. Let's just go ahead and throw arrows right now. Just predicting. Whoa, baby. That was all just on prediction that he just might play the goblin gang. And that's what exactly what he did. So we're going to take this damage right now. And I'm going to throw the Goblin Barrel because he, I know he has Zap and I don't want him to Zap. Okay, he's, he's saving it. So I don't want him to Zap my Inferno Tower. He dropped down the Wizard instead in the back. Really good on his part to do that because he's going to save his, uh, his Zap for my Inferno Tower. We're just going to eat some Elixir right now. Nom, 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 nom. And then we're going to play down the Goblin Gang to help out. Let's go ahead. Just We're going to play it all right now. All right, let's go ahead and zap. All right, one more hit. One more hit. Oh, all right. He played zap, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and play the ice golem. It will attract any of the... Uh, oh, well, attracted some. Let's go ahead and throw down the arrows. Should have saved the arrows, probably. Let's get ready to drop down the inferno tower. There goes the inferno tower. Now let's drop down the goblin gang. If he has zap, he's in a good spot right now. All right, nope. So let's go ahead and drop that. And then we'll drop down the ice golem. We drop down the hog rider. He's actually dropped down his uh, furnace way too far over on the right hand or left hand side. We're going to get two more hits onto his tower. I don't know if he used zap or not, but let's go ahead and just drop everything down. What is he going to use for that? All right, there's the zap. Clean that up. Oh, a couple more hits. A couple more hits. Oh. And that's arrow bait right there, boys and girls. Collecting that one tower for the win right there, right in overtime. Good job. Good good game. All right. So this is a deck that got me to legendary. Obviously, that first battle, we got our butts kicked terribly. But that's just the way it happens sometimes. So let's go ahead, grab that one crown. That's all we needed. And go ahead. We got some more elite barbarians. Those are our favorite, right? All right. Let's go ahead and see. Let's actually request... Um, uh, I want fireball. We're really close. To, actually, we only need one more set of fireballs and we will be able to get our fireballs right now. And also we have two spots open in our clan right now. So if you want to come on and join, now's your time. I don't know if they'll be open by the time you see this, but come on and join us if you want. So let's get into our third battle in filth. Um, let's just go ahead and start off with the Hog Rider. We might as well on his right hand lane put some pressure on him. He's going to drop down the Bomber. So I have not been playing the last few days. So the Bomber I'm starting to see. So obviously the Bomber and the uh, Elite Barbarians are probably a thing right now. Um, but he has Golem. I'm actually going to let that damage happen on my tower and I'm gonna wait a second till the golem kind of moves up I'm not worried about the golem we have the inferno tower we're gonna go ahead drop down the uh, uh oh froze we froze all right here we go now let's go ahead and try to eat we're freezing right now super weird why we're freezing let's go ahead and throw down arrows clean all that up there's a zap right there and uh, that's actually okay because all we're gonna do is drop down oh I need to drop down knight right there to take down the bomber all right, there we go. Now all we need to do is just take down the Inferno Dragon. We do that as well. 
Let's go ahead, throw down the Goblin Barrel because he already used his Zap. Um, he might be back in rotation by now, but all right. He threw down arrows, but we still got one shot from all three of those uh, Goblins. So that's perfect. We're doing a good job right now. Um, kind of legged right there, so that wasn't actually a recording issue. It legged for me as well on my screen, which is weird. Normally it does that on my iPad. That's the second time now that I've seen it happen on here. Let's go ahead. We'll start out Ice Golem because it's cheap. And I want to get these skeletons. Now I don't have any volume. What is going on? Something weird is going on right now. I don't know. It, something weird is happening. Let's go ahead and throw arrows. Clean that up. Boom. Grab the tower. So I don't know what's going on. Something weird is. I know that for a fact. All right. Let's go ahead and play down knight. Something cheap. <laughs> and then we'll play down goblin barrel to get rid of that zap. I don't want to have to deal with that zap. Here we go. Nope, he's not going to play the zap. Maybe we can clean up. All right. So he's not going to play the zap. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and play arrows. There's a the zap. Let's go ahead and play down goblin gang. See, that happened again. What is going on? Super weird. Let's go ahead and play down another inferno dragon. Let's go ahead and play down ice golem. And we'll zap all that. Let's go ahead. Drop down this. All right, we got 25 seconds. Uh, we got arrows. I don't think a golem can take us down that quickly, but we'll definitely have to wait to see. Let's go ahead and drop the inferno tower right now. Drop down ice golem. Zap. Ooh. Ooh, we both zapped at the same time. 10 seconds left to go. Can we keep it alive? No. Oh, we survived just in time. 41 health left on our tower. Game was super glitchy right there. So what we're going to do is uh, collect those trophies. Now we're ahead from where we started, which is awesome. But what I'm going to do is uh, go like this. Hopefully there's no uh, U-porn. No U-porn. So we're in the clear. Now let's go ahead and uh, open this back up. Uh, you never know what I've been looking at last night. Whew. can be a little scary. Sometimes I open it up and be like, whoa, what? Jeez. Let's see race history of the last lifetime. All right. So still rocking the same deck. Let's go ahead, get into another battle and see if we can get a win. Like I said, this is a deck that brought me the legendary. Really good deck. I like this a lot. So this deck, super simple to play. I like cheaper decks. I know people like Nick at Night. I know people, um, uh, I didn't want to do that, but we'll do. We'll have to play that down. Wish I would have played that a little bit slower. And zaps. Good job on his part. He handled everything perfectly. Um, kind of need to be careful of what he plays, because if he plays Bomber, we're in trouble. All right, we're going to play down Zap, and then we'll play down Knight up here. Kind of help clean everything up. Doing a great job. Oh, they didn't get rid of... Uh, what do I want to play? Uh, I guess we have to play arrows. Don't shoot. Oh, all right. She got a little bit of damage on our tower. All right, you Uton. Let's get ready to rumble. Um, let's go ahead and just play down the Inferno Tower. Take it easy. Zap everything. Boom. All right, clean up that. And then we're going to be able to clean up that night. All right, that was seven elixir. That was a lot of elixir for five, six elixir that he played. So one elixir trade off, <clears throat> but I wish there was a better way to do that. But the problem is I need to be able to duel with that princess a little bit easier. Let's go ahead, lay all this down. All right, let's go ahead, lay down the hog rider. What is he going to do? I'm not going to play anything else. I'm going to let this ride. Let the wheel ride, baby. And we're actually going to be able to clean up this knight kind of nicely. I feel like he's going to play his princess down here pretty soon. There it is. And then we're just going to lay down arrows, clean all that up. <clears throat> and we're good. All right. And we're just going to let that ice golem go to die. Sorry, ice golem. I love you. Oh, he's actually going to get a little bit of damage off. Let's just go ahead, play down the goblin barrel, get some damage going. Let's go ahead, lay down. All right. Boom. And then Ice Golem. And then we'll play down the Hog Rider. Um, let's go ahead. Ooh. All right, come on. 
There's a princess in the back. Let's go ahead. Play down arrows. Oh, all right. So he's doing a really good job. So he has everything that's kind of easy to take pick us off. Let's go ahead. Zap to zap. Take him out. All right, good. Zap takes him out. All right. That, that rocket scares me. He shouldn't be able to stop this. Oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. All right, what we're going to do is switch sides. I can't keep going after this side right now. It's just not worth it. Oh, no. No, I did not mean to do that. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Hipster uh, <laughs> Goblin Barrel worked. All right, let's go ahead and play Knight. Play Hog Rider. Get ready for Zap. Boom. All right. Come on. We're getting close. All right. I think Rocket can beat us, though. Let's go ahead and play down another Ice Golem. Play down another Hog Rider. Ah. Uh, this sucks. No. All right. I think he got us right there. No. All right. Good job. GG, good game. All right, Young Town, you did it. Your Yo Town, you did a great job. Let's get into one more battle. The reason why I'm doing a little bit longer of a video because I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. So I wanted to put out a longer video for you guys today because you guys are awesome. The people that support me every single day, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. So this extra battle is for you guys. You know who you are. What we're going to do is drop down the knight. Drop down. Oh, no, that's not going to take him out. Oh. All right, and I wasted the arrows right there. That was kind of bad. Ah, uh, level 10 kind of beat us up right there. Oh, no. I don't want to lose again, though. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, huh. What do we do here? We're definitely switching sides. That's for sure. But let's go ahead, put down the ice golem, and then we'll put down a goblin barrel. But I need the, uh, let's see what he does. All right, fire spirits. But I need the arrows for the goblin barrel because the goblin barrel is a level 10 goblin. So I'm not able to take him out. I don't know what actual, all right. Whoa, what is going on? It happened again. The glitch happened again. It's not my recording, I promise you guys. That is so weird. What is going on? I don't know what's going on. Something fishy. Illuminati? Alright. Take him down. Ah. Uh, Alright. He's doing a great job. That Electro Wizard is like the best card he can ever use. Oh, I'm gonna die. This guy's a lot better than me. He's also a higher level than me. Um, so that kind of stinks. Ugh. I don't know if we can come back, guys. Ugh, we'll, we'll try to figure something out. I don't know what else I can play to better take down his tower. All right, we're going to go Inferno Tower. He goes Inferno Tower. We're going to go Goblin Gang. He's going to use, uh, yep, the log. We're going to go ahead and play Goblin. Oh, no. I didn't. Uh, no, I completely forgot I don't have the other... Oh my gosh, I thought I had the other tower gone. Oh my gosh, I am the biggest idiot in the world. All right, let's go ahead. We're just going to play fast. Maybe just play the pace will beat them. All right, there we go. Um, ugh. Ugh. Arrows? No! How did he get down his inferno tower? How dare you? All right. <clears throat> so I promised you guys, this is a deck that got me to Legendary Arena. But obviously, we lost a couple times. It's not bad, though, for not playing the last few days. But I want to get into that last battle for you guys. Obviously, I need to... It, you can't... This is something, though, that you guys need to remember. You can't just use the same deck over and over again. You end up <clears throat> getting into a little bit of a pickle to where... Um, 
that deck's not going to work all the time. So it's really good to get better at three decks or at least two decks than it is just one. So make sure that when you upgrade cards, I know some people like to just upgrade the cards that they play. So <clears throat> so upgrade at least two or three decks worth of cards so that way when one deck just runs out of luck and you can't win with that deck anymore at least you can move on instead of getting frustrated with that one deck and losing all the time and then give up playing for the day instead once this deck starts losing switch over to another deck it's really good it's what i do when i get frustrated and that deck just doesn't win anymore so obviously after this video i'm gonna switch over to another deck see if i can keep pushing because we're definitely not gonna stop here 3063 we're definitely going to push as high as we can possibly go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button if you're new here. Make sure to subscribe and join the Clash Bro family. And don't forget my Clash Bros. This is ASMR. Ugly. <laughs>